All right, guys, here's a quick video about how to check why this cocking arm or cocking me mechanism is not holding back when you fully cock the gun this way. When the gun is healthy, once you cock, this arm will be soft and this way the hammer uh, is stuck inside and you you will be ready to, to shoot at any given time. So now we will reset it. Please make sure that you don't have any pellet inside or uh, and also we will uh, remove this cylinder for uh, just for uh, for safety. So how to reset the the uh, the cocking or if the gun is cocked by simply holding back uh, this lever and gently pressing on the regulator while we're holding the cocking arm. So this way you see that click and it's safe to move forward. So now you can disassemble the gun. So uh, first, if you have such this hex that holds, has a uh, ball head that you don't uh, you don't need to remove this uh, trigger guard. So all you you can you uh, all you need to do just to angle the the hex and by simply removing it. All right and screw it counterclockwise so we have the first bolt that is removed and we also remove this screw that is holding the the safety knob okay that's the first two and this third one is this three millimeter Hex we also need to remove. That way you can slide upward the gun like this way just to remove the stock. As I told you, also I will for more safety I will remove the air reservoir. So make sure when you slide it there's a hammer uh sorry a valve stem right here so slide it in a very very uh, horizontal way and very straight way for the valve stem not to touch anything because this valve stem if you need to to bleed the air reservoir you can simply push it all right so we have now the gun and we need to check two things. There's two possible ways why the gun is not cocking. First, if it's the hammer tension is too is uh, set too loose, it will not hold inside so the hammer won't won't hold backward. Uh, that's the first thing and how I will, I will show you how to uh, to check it. The second thing is the, let me zoom in a bit, is the trigger mechanism, all right? So when you have the gun is exposed this way, so this is the safety knob here. When you cock it forward, so the, the gun is under safety, and when you move it backward, so the gun can fire. As I told you, make sure always that you don't have any air inside or uh, any pellet, all right? So uh, let's first uh, focus about uh, let's focus on the cocking arm. You need to check first. Let us cock it to safety. First, you need to check if this arm you cock it backward or if you have the problem. Just make sure that this arm is attached from the outside and, as you see, from the inside. That way, from the outside, you, we can see that we don't have any problem holding the gun. But this breast part inside you never know it might be broken from the bottom part that is not cocking the the or moving the hammer backward so how can we expose it by removing these two screws it's very simple in this way make sure to have a decent screwdriver not to damage these screws all right and the second one how to remove this plate uh, also you see that this magnet 
that holds the cocking arm here it also has a magnet that prevent the gun when you shake it not all right so if you need to remove it it did it this alone so you can pull it or or uh, return it to its place and the magnet will do the job if not let's say it was like this if you don't want to do you see if you don't want to use this way or in any way that the magnet didn't pull out the plate you can simply do it this way gently all right that way we will have the gut of the gun exposed what we see inside there's this brass part attached to this arm and to the all the way to the uh, outside cocking arm this part is responsible for two actions first that is hold from the upper side if you see when i move it forward and backward it pull uh, it pushes the pellet that that way it will take the pellet from the uh, magazine and push it inside the barrel uh, and the lower part is responsible of cocking this silver part that is the hammer the hammer when when it is uh, when the reservoir is attached so uh, the uh, valve stem will be exposed in this area and when once you pull the trigger uh, this hammer will will go forward to uh, to push the air outside and you know the whole uh, the rest of the story so if you need to see first release the safety as i told you hold this arm very well and gently squeeze the trigger when you hear this click you know that the arm or the hammer is released you see that this spring inside is responsible is responsible of pushing the hammer forward so if you have this part it's too loose and going uh, too much backward okay so the gun is not uh, it's too light uh, may maybe or I don't know so uh, one of the way that why this arm is not fully cocking so if you see this action you will hear this click all right so if you have everything from the outside and the inside is working properly so you have the second thing to check is the trigger if you have the trigger that is too loose so the the uh, the gun won't cock how to check it or how to adjust it if you don't have any problem here from this side so you need to check this part of the trigger or the trigger assembly or trigger rod so if you this part if you if you see this part that once this spring is expanded and i don't know if you can see the threads it's nearly in the middle here all right so by adjusting these two knots you are uh, whether moving this rod backward or forward so in our case if we don't have that, that full uh, cocking or the mechanism the mechanism is not fully cocking so uh, uh, this spring is maybe you will see it, you will feel it it's a bit loose and it's not holding the the trigger uh, arm that holds all the mechanism of the hammer inside so all you need to do is to uh, uh, turn it you can turn it by hand or if you are a professional that you can remove this part and but you can do it from the outside so all you need to do is to to narrow uh, by adjusting these two knots this spring that way i will show you when the gun is cocked how the parts move all right so now the gun is cocked and i will simulate that i'm shooting hold on a second you see i will repeat it again now the gun is cocked i'm holding it just not to damage uh, make sure always when you need to reset the gun 
to always hold this part or you might end up with breaking uh, with breaking these uh, these parts all right so if you see the mechanism hold on a second let me zoom in all right so whenever i press gently the trigger you see that this arm will move you see so if we have an expanded uh, spring that way it, it will not it will definitely not hold the the uh, the hammer inside the, this gut here so all you need is to adjust this side all right if you have any other question or I hope we will do an, uh, a detailed video later on on how to tune the gun how to uh, to fully disassemble it uh, and to take care of it especially the, regula uh, the regulator inside the air reservoir how to tune it out or how to find the harmony the good harmony for the gun all right folks see you in the next one bye bye